heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become... In this episode of Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby, we look ahead to this Saturday's derby between Wurskwal Monument and Glenwood High, live on Supersport. One of the newest rivalries in the Premier Interschools series takes place this weekend when the green machine from Glenwood makes the long journey inland to take on Wurskwal Monument. Monument, a co-educational school in Krugersdorp and the alma mater of F.W. de Klerk, will play host to this encounter in 2014. Yeah, now we've got a few uh, people who made some history for themselves and nationally that were old scholars of, of Monument. We're proud of, of all the feet that found their way yet at, at Monument. And that is for all sorts of geschiedenis waarop ons ook kan terugval. Om te sê dat mense wat sukses behaal het, het hier so die grondslag gevind om dit recht te kry daar buite. Many will not know that Monument have girls at their school. But the young ladies of Monas play a vital role in the school's ethos. En die dochters speel een ongelooflike belangrike rol, ook in die uitdra van ons schoolse beeld, ook met hulle sportsoorte, hulle kultuur, waarin hulle deelneem. So, uh, ons wil nie die seens die dochters enigszins uitsonder nie. Die dochters speel nie rugby nie, but they do a lot of other things. And they are just as important as the boys. Ja, die netbalmeisies en hockeymeisies is altyd by ons kijkens en hulle kyk altyd vir ons hoog speel en, en ondersteun ons en ons probeer ook waar ons kan vir die netbal eerste span en die hockey eerste span. We probeer ons maar ondersteun en dit is nie altyd makkelijk nie, want ons warme op te, ten die tye, maar ons probeer ons wees. Monas are better known as the footballer and have a proud history of excellence on the rugby field, with the likes of Jacques Ferry, Willem Albert, and Jaco Tata having donned the famous white jersey in years gone by. Yeah, yes, um, playing for the first man, Monas taught me so many lessons and, and characteristics, like um, sticking it out when it's tough and, and playing for your teammate rather than for yourself. Um, so yeah, and oh, it's just a wonderful school and the opportunity it gives you to grow as a person, not just in rugby, but in life. Yeah, I think it's Het is een gevoel van, het draal soveel ander spelers wat, wat al gespeel is, het tradities op je rug en dit is nie net die wat in die school is, maar die oude monumentale ook. So dit is een groot verantwoordelijkheid wat je op jou skouwers het, wat je op jou uitdraaf. We've got pictures in the late 1970s, when Northern Transvaal was called the Blue Bulls. Our kids made banners with die witbulle. So uh, we think we're the original witbulle. In Glenwood, they face a strong opponent who will challenge them across the board from the under 14s right through to the first 15. We've had to make a decision to travel outside the province to find schools similar in ethos to ours and who have 30 or 35 rugby teams so that we can have teams right down to the under 14 KLM team because it's important that those youngsters have an opportunity. Glenwood are often referred to as the grasshoppers or the green machine. I think the, the, the term grasshopper comes from when they actually did cut the field to, to set it up. There were million and millions of, of grasshoppers. Uh, in terms of the green machine, I think the first team playing green jerseys, and I just think it's something that, that uh, somebody mentioned and got stuck by Glenn Rasko. Be able to walk in front of the whole school as, you, as you're about to go onto the field, that is another amazing thing that I'll never forget. And you, just get goosebumps just hearing the school shouting, shouting your name and shouting for the green machine to, to go play. Uh, the war cries do inspire me because we get, to, we get called out as the green machine and not only, only you have to be a play first team to be called green machine and when they shout green machine it's just, it's just overwhelming and it's, it's unbelievable so it means a lot to me and it, it has to, makes me very ready for the game. Both schools come from an outstanding rugby heritage boasting 12 Springboks and 26 South African schools players between them. Making the Monos Glenwood Derby an annual event makes sense, as it brings together two great schools in the name of rugby. Now it's special and we've got a lot of respect for the guys down there. And uh, this year it's their 
their turn to come and visit up north. And uh, we're looking forward to hosting them here. Look, to go down to Krugersdorp and play Monument, I think it's a immense task. Um, I, do, I have watched them this year. They've got a very, very good site and they've also got very, very good results. So I think we're going to have to work really, really hard and, and make sure we are prepared for, for, for Monas in Krugersdorp. Yes, we're looking forward to the Monas clash. Um, Monument is a, is a good rugby school, uh, probably one of our biggest games of the year. Uh, and last year, all the fixtures were pretty close. They're a good school, we respect them, but we're not going to stand back for them. We're going to bring our A game. I've never had the privilege to play against um, Glenwood, um, but always looking at them, they're a physical bunch of guys, big lads, so I think it's going to be a brutal battle. Um, Monas also prides themselves on their physicality, so um, I believe it's going to be a huge matchup. Whilst this is a relatively new derby, Monas and Glenwood met back in 2010 when two of the current rising stars in South Africa, Fred Zeilinger and Paul Willemse, met each other on the field. We were also in grade 8, we were in grade 8, when Paul Willemse was in was in grade 8, when we were in grade 8, we were in grade 8, and we were in grade 8. I think this is also an inspiration to play hard, because he was in grade 8. It's like he was in grade 8, 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 he was in even if you're not playing professional rugby, all of all of the rugby players um, had that school school rugby boy um, time of their life. So, and I think if, even if you talk to someone that's not playing at, at the moment, that stopped playing or only played school rugby, you can always find that the thing that you enjoyed, and that was school school rugby. Yeah. Paul Willemse, a junior world championship winner in 2012 has become a regular in the Bulls' number four jersey alongside Victor Matfield. Like many others, the powerful lock forward learned much of his rugby in the Vitbull jersey. My, my first team was, was very, very nice, like I um, said. I, when I got there, my Machikia, it was if I was there from grade eight. The guys was, were just uh, exceptional with me and uh, they took me in as one of them just immediately and uh, yeah we played we won all our trophies that we competed in all the competitions and uh, yeah no, it was a great team yes the years that Paul Willems had played for our first team was definitely some of the years to remember we had a very good first team that year and seeing him play and his physical contribute to the game was definitely something I can look up to and just strive to be like him although not originally from Durban Fred Zeilinger has made the coastal city his home. The Sharks fly half spent his high school career at Glenwood before going on to represent the Sharks. He was named Vodacom Cup Player of the Year at the 2013 SA Rugby Awards and was a finalist in the Curry Cup Player of the Year Award. I immediately knew that this is the place where I want to be and this is where I'm going to grow more as a rugby player and as a person. The highlight of my school career was probably the whole five years I was here at Glenwood. The things I've learned and the, the friends and the people I've met here, um, they shaped me who I am today and I can only take my hat off to them and I'll always be fortunate for the time I've spent here at Glenwood. Uh, I was lucky enough to be here when Fred was still playing. Fred and I both come from a small town called Ladysmith, so I was fortunate to know him at a young age and then when he came down here it was even better for me to look at it, look up to him. He was a good inspiration. Every morning he was out there kicking and we used to see him when he woke up to school and always wanted to like be, be like him. And not just uh, Fred Zeiling, but all the first-team players who knew him today, really looked up to them as like our role models and wanted to be like them one day. But Fred Zeiling, for me, I'll always remember as a, as a guy that really worked hard at his game. He'll be up at the fields at 5 o'clock in the morning and sometimes we as border masters need to dish him a late supper because he's still on the field kicking. And I think that's the reason why he's successful. It was really great. I don't think he'll ever be able to re-experience that school school atmosphere and being able to play in front of your whole school and with the war cries and the passion and I think that's something I really miss about school and I think that was some of the best years of my life to play for the Green Machine. There have only been five encounters to date between these schools with Bonners enjoying the dominance winning four of the five matches. The 2013 encounter was the first annual Premier Inter-Schools derby between the two schools. 
which Monas won 26-20 in Durban. I remember the last game because uh, the eighth man, he tackled me quite hard. And uh, I remember them scoring the interception, tried to run away with the game, but we're looking forward to it. And we were, I remember we were quite close to the try line towards the end of the game. And we were unlikely to knock on the ball, and that was the end of the game. So rugby is a very tough game against Monument. Uh, yeah, we had last year Dazo gespeeld. We had a really good game. It was a very hard game. Gewees. Maar ek, ek ons moet net ons kop weer regge vir die jaar, want dit is nieuwe game, so dit laas jaar maak niks saak in hierdie jaar. Monas have a legend in Hans Kutsia, who first coached the Witbeler back in 1984. Ja, nee, Hans Kutsia as directeur van rugby het een unieke aanslag met die seens en uh, we've got a lot of respect for his knowledge of rugby. In sy aanslag en ook sy kennis van rugby, sy africhting, dit wat hy kan terugploeg in die school, is van ons kaartbare waarde. So, ons is gelukkig om vir ons koetsie hier te hee. En hy doen goeie werk op hierdie stadion by Monas. Hy is ook al baie lang al verbonde aan Monas. Hy ken die tradities, hy ken ons kultuur, hy ken ons geschiedenis. So, ek dink ons kan net baat daarby om dit verder te ontgin met ons koetsie hier so. His counterpart on Saturday will be Rudy Damas. At the moment, this is my first year as head coach. I think I'm very privileged in, in having quality boys um, in the school and in the team that's, that's just willing to learn every day and work really, really hard. So it's, it's gone um, reasonably well, and, and I'm very blessed to coach a very good side. Krugersdorp will be a battlefield on Saturday with distinct lines of color drawn down the middle. The question is, Will the town be painted in the green of Glenwood or the white of Monas? Playing Monument in Krugersdorp is pressure enough, but then to, to, to play on TV as well, I think, um, yes, it does have its pressure, but for us, we don't focus on the TV. We, we, we focus just on our task, what we need to do, so, and, and we're looking forward to, uh, to an epic battle. Today, we stand for all that is. For our heritage, our tradition. Our future! Today, we become... Watch Monas versus Glenwood in Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby this Saturday. Live on Supersport.